the Perseverance rover has reached layered and weirdly eroded rocks at the edge of the ancient delta deposit. They get even weirder with an obviously unnatural feature in one of them that sometimes disappears. On this episode of Mars Guy. On June 6th, Perseverance arrived at the Bacon Strip, so named for obvious reasons. On the ground, it's an obvious layer of broken up outcrop in front of some spectacular rock formations. Here's Mars Guy for scale. This vaguely Easter Island Moai like boulder probably tumbled down from above after being undercut by erosion. There are a couple of other much smaller examples of boulders that also probably tumbled down from above. It's one of these that hosts what at first looks like a flake of rock, but closer inspection reveals a remarkably regular pattern of dots. There's no geologic process that could do that. Instead, we learned this week that this is a piece of what's referred to as thermal blanket, technically known as multi-layer insulation. MLI is typically made from layers of mylar or Kapton film with Dacron netting in between. It's used to reflect heat from the sun or rocket motors away from spacecraft parts. The dots are actually holes which are used to vent trapped air during the rapid depressurization after launch as a rocket enters the vacuum of space. Now, before expressing outrage about humans littering Mars, Realize that the only way to avoid leaving traces of our exploration is to not explore at all, which denies a hallmark of our species. Some of the artifacts of Mars exploration may someday find their way into museums on Earth and maybe Mars. The rest will probably be recovered by future treasure hunters and sold to collectors eager to own a piece of history. So where did this bit of MLI come from? The best guess is it's from the rover descent stage known as the Sky Crane, also known as the Jetpack, which gently lowered Perseverance to the surface. Here's a view of it during final assembly at Kennedy Space Center, which really highlights how much of the Sky Crane is covered in MLI. And here's a view of the Sky Crane before integration with the rover that nicely shows the perforations in the MLI. It also shows how the colors seem to vary, but that's just because the shiny MLI reflects different light depending on orientation. This probably explains why the piece on Mars doesn't look very silvery. Instead, it's reflecting the colors of the Martian landscape and sky. Another feature of this trapped MLI is that sometimes it seems to disappear. Here's a much enlarged navcam view. Despite the graininess, it looks like the MLI is missing. But what's probably happening is that it's just laying down on the rock in front. A more distant navcam view pretty clearly shows this situation. Another one shows it in the upright position. So probably what we're seeing here is the MLI flapping in the Martian breeze. We can't tell from these few images the rate it's going up and down, Presumably it's mostly in one position until the wind catches it and flips it to the other, either up or down, hard to know. This apparent response to Martian wind supports the likelihood that wind delivered the MLI from the crashed sky crane site about two kilometers away rather than from the impact event itself. How many sols it took to travel this distance is anyone's guess. <laughs> 